what capitalism does, it, it, it generates all of these wants. And those of us who are closer to the pot want for ourselves. And this creates the chasm in society. And this, I think, is the problem we've got to talk about. It's at the root of this. Um, you see, so, so for all of its successes, capitalism hasn't taught us how we can have restraint because there isn't sufficient of a kind of U.S coastal lifestyle for all of the world. That's a challenge we've got to deal with. That's a challenge, I think, that gets to the heart of the debate on ethics, on the debate of, on conduct, because the debate on corruption. I mean, the only reason why people misbehave is because there's no constraint on how much they want to accumulate. The big challenge for us, I think, is how we can construct a political order that is staffed by women and men who care and who want to be accountable. That, I think, is a challenge. And, and, and the, the, the role of the person who convenes that needs to be the convener of a, a caring government. And I've been privileged enough to have been part of teams that care where you're held accountable for your actions, where the head of state will call you out privately and say, I don't like what you're doing at the moment for the following reason. Uh, would never ask the kinds of favors that appear to be the order of the day at the moment. That's what we need in South Africa. That's what we must return to. It's about a value system. It's about a set of commitments which our constitution describes. And you can only get there if you actually hold leaders to account and hold their feet to the fire. And that's what isn't happening in this country. Parliament doesn't do it. Uh, we, we've fallen back on the courts. And the courts are always the last line of defense. I mean, you don't even have a public protector who can go to court uh, without changing a mind before she gets there. Uh, we, 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 we're facing real, real difficulties because the institutions in the state that they are. That's a voice we need. It's about institutions of service and measurements of the quality of service in the lives of people. And it cuts across a very wide uh, uh, plane of responsibility.